So if you are using yellows on a 350 and it's where you want it, go ahead and max them out. Well, well, well. Who do we have here rolling up in a Mercedes Benz E350? Stock height, stock wheels, no tent. Rolling up in the I just retired mobile. Ain't even got a custom license plate tag on it. Them exhaust tips look good though. Who do we have here? The upgraded from the little old Mazda. I still got it though. Talking about your retirement mobile? Yeah. No tent? Uh, that, that'll change. <laughs> that'll change. Uh, Stock like wheels. Things. No customized license plate tag. That'll change too. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> what we got here for the E350? We got some yellows. Them top hats look nice. When it comes with the end links. These like, jokers are beefy. And a foot later. Let's get the sway bar in link loose. In this case, it's gonna be the only way to get this thing out of here is to do it this way. Otherwise, this is just gonna spin and it's not gonna loosen. So a through bolt with a T40. So let's get to it. Trunk squared away. Yep. What is that, like a little auxiliary battery? Yeah, that's so because the car has the auto start stop. Oh, oh, got a separate battery for it? Yeah. How much is that? Oh, uh, it's not that expensive. You can get them at Batteries Plus. Okay. I think I think they're maybe a hundred dollars. Okay. Yeah, it's not too bad. Not too bad. I was about to say if you need a light. Oh, yeah. I got one you can use. Appreciate it. No problem. A little bit of a difference between the stock and the yellow. This tab. Alright. Let's get these strip bolts. Let me try to get these strip bolts out. coming out so let's loosen up the strut mounts and let's get the strut out
like this side has two ABS lines, where the driver's side only has one ABS line. Which doesn't make ugh, a whole lot of sense. Ugh, all right. Whew, strut is out. I believe the old strut was, tw was it 20 and a half? Old strut was 20 and a half. New strut is measured at 19. So in theory, should be about a one and a half inch drop. Uh, so let's get this joker in. There we go. One up. Everything is good to go with the strut. Now we need to put in the adjustable sway bar in weight. Man, the day I get a lift, man, it's gonna be game over. Game over. Like what little flip said, game over. Man, it'd be so nice to do something like this, standing up. Be able to do brakes at eye level. Well, at least you could sit like on a stool. Oh yeah. And do it. Ugh. All right. So we're going to tighten up these three bar inlets and then should be ready to put the wheels on. Front is done. That looks to be a solid inch lower. So let's get to the back. We are at worst two and a half hours into it and we got the front done. And Mercedes quoted seven hours for the front? Yeah, seven hours. Seven hours for the front. They must be like bead blasting every bolt and painting and reconditioning the front end because ain't no way. Chauncey's under the car, figuring out what bolts I'm gonna take these strut mount bolts loose. 19. To be, uh, be here goes 16. You wanna try it? See if that fits. Oh, that's pretty tight. So that might be it right there, then. What a 16 uh, fit? Si yep. 16. Yep. And 
And this is the strut, right? Yeah, that's a strut. So you want to just impact it off that side, or can we fit an impact over there? Yeah. Whoa, what the hell? Oh, your wheel. I think it fell on the face. Let's scratch it. Oh, well. I don't need to get more scratched up. Oh. What? It landed on the face of the wheel. On the spokes. Damn. This is heavy. Yeah, I told my head. <laughs> oh, my arm burn. Oh, I thought it was gonna come down, not up. What the? Why the f did it go up? Uh, what the hell? Why the f would it go up instead of down? I have no idea. Why the f would it have up sprung weight instead of down sprung weight? Uh, I... And the spring is still. What the? F um, is it the shock? The shock would. Maybe. Cause yeah, maybe. I did not expect that shit. I'm gonna control on. Yeah, we're just gonna oh. pull it down. So you think it would drop. Damn. Maybe it's trash. But yeah. God. See what happens. So the spindle is coming. Down. Yeah, so the spindle has upward tension even without the shock. What kind of? Sh I guess you can take the jack out. I was talking about some 11 and 3 quarter. I would have had you back at, at stock height. Should be good for the end link. And there we go. Holy oh, I got it started.
it came down way further than what I thought it was. Cause I don't even think it's that tight. Keep going. You want me to bump it up? Yep. Oh, you on two battery, that's why. Put it on three and bump it. As my grandfather would say, good and tight. And I guess that's fitting since, since this is a German car. This fits all of his, yeah. all of his German humor. Yeah, I'm on the strut one now. And that's everything tight. Let's go. Oh yeah. as much as possible all right so that is that everything tight that we so you got that tight did we get that tight no that is not tight everything on i think everything's tight yeah let's see what's that one that's tight that's tight we didn't take this this strut's tight that's tight all right all right the rear's done Let's get it up. See how she looking. Huh. The strut piece is sitting on the bottom. Right. So that's probably the difference. Is that this is being recessed up in there. Damn. So when you say you wanted some rake and you see it. <laughs> Dang. We've been playing the adjustment game here. That's rough. And we've went from what a two inch a two inch gap to a to a no inch gap on the rear. So we're gonna see how this is gonna work for us. We were at a four finger gap before. So let's see if we can get that closed up. The rear is adjusted. So let's see what it's gonna sit like now. So yeah, with the rear spring purchase maxed out, that's about so really that's probably not even a finger to be honest with you. That's probably that's like right there. It might be like three fourths of a finger. But so if you are using yellows on a 350 and it's where you want it. Go ahead and max them out. Cause otherwise, you ain't gonna get what you're looking for. Okay. Woo! All right, we gotta do a tool inventory and we'll be back after that. All right, so we are done. Chauncey about to roll out. But this is how we are looking in the front. 
and this is how we are looking in the rear that thing looked pretty good to me so we about to move me on back to fire here you know i wish it was daylight outside and you really could see what it looked like but this little rollout in my garage is gonna have to do so So we're sure that it's going to settle a little bit more. We're estimating like a, maybe like another quarter inch, half an inch of settling. And with that, it'll probably put him exactly where he wants to be height wise. 